Hey, how's it going everybody? God bless you. Brother Brian here. Welcome back to Love is the Name YouTube channel. I am in an und undisclosed location on a one week vacation with my wife and you will be seeing this video uploaded on April 13th, 2022. So I didn't get a chance to pre-record all the videos that I wanted to, but I've been trying to get creative. And so you, if you have been on the YouTube channel you've seen over the last day and two that I have, um, the Lord has given me the creative idea to take excerpts, little clips of videos I've done in the past where the Lord has manifested himself in signs and wonders in just amazing ways with his rainbow, with his, the glory cloud or, or like a fogginess, a haze or the light shining up um, in front of me, on my face, behind me the room lighting up in the back. There's been just so many manifestations that I never would have even thought of, but the Lord does them as he pleases. So you can check those out as I upload them. I have two already. There's a new playlist called the Signs and Wonders playlist. These are all ideas that the Lord has been giving me. So I am just doing that. And it's actually helpful because I can just take something, upload it as I'm on the go here. Uh, on vacation and wherever we are, which you will find out as soon as I get back to Northern Virginia, I'll begin to upload small clips, medium clips, testimonies. Um, we're only three days in and we've, the Lord has been doing so much, which is just awesome because I know you can benefit. Not only will you rejoice about it, you will find new ways that God works because he's been working in ways that I never would have even thought of, which is awesome because I'm learning. Amen. So <coughs> it is late. We just came from a 17 hour trip. We were about four and a half hours uh, worth of sleep that we had before this long 17 hour trip. But anyway, in this video, we're going to get into a short prophetic word from Donna Rigney. Amen. The date of this word is uh, three dates, actually. So we're going to begin with the March 10th word, and it is called Boldness is needed in this hour. On Thursday, March 10th, 2022, the father had a heart to heart talk with me. Why are you surprised when a liar lies? Why does it amaze you when a poisonous snake strikes in order to kill its victim? I have told you that by their fruit, you will know them. Don't expect good fruit to come forth from a rotten tree. It is incapable of bringing forth something that will nourish. To expect the truth <clears throat> to come forth from corrupt messengers is just as ridiculous. Consider the source that is once again attempting to brainwash the world and tell them that evil is good and good is evil. They always misrepresent what is real for their benefit. The media and those they serve are like a giant poisonous snake. This is the hour that I will expose the snake for what it is and cut its heads off, its head off with my sword. Yes, as my spokesman come forward and speak the truth that I reveal to them, I will wield my sword through their mouths. This is the hour for the truth to manifest and for justice to arise and dethrone in justice. Hand in hand, I will walk with my children and work through them. Hallelujah. Man, and, and just reading that line, I'm just so honored because I know the Lord has been doing this where my wife and I, not only we're staying, we're staying at a, a friend of hers and her husband's. Um, interesting that this room is full of... Uh, rock metal type instruments and so forth um yeah but anyway we i prayed over it i anointed the room we slept so peacefully the first night nothing then the second night had some spiritual warfare dreams man <laughs> but victory in them victory in them because god is greater than the devil and we have authority and I have been exercising that authority and I'm learning and then I share it with you so you can take it and you can learn and we can share and experiences and grow together. Amen. As we talk in the comments. 
Thank you for your presence, Father. Thank you, Lord. I know it brings the Lord so much joy that we share in this together. Amen. As Father spoke, I saw an enormous snake. It was larger. It was large, like a dinosaur. People with sharp swords were slashing and cutting its neck. I wondered why Father didn't just cut his head off with one blow from his sword. Knowing my thoughts, he explained, My daughter, because it is my plan to partner with my children and work through them by the power of the Holy Spirit in them, this is how evil forces are dealt with. This is why I have an end time army. It is my army working beside my hosts that implement my will and bring forth justice. Boldness and courage are essential because the wicked will not listen to gentle coaxing or whispered commands. It is time for my bride to rise up and exercise the power and authority that my son won for her. In all matters, boldness is needed, motivated by love for justice and truth to come forth. The lives of many are at stake, as well as the freedom of the masses. And here's the confirming scripture that she uh, received from the Lord. Matthew 11, verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and men of violence take it by force. That means you're determined. You are determined to enter into the kingdom of God. You're determined to have God, no matter what. It doesn't mean that you're going to get violent with one another. Amen? So we must understand that. And the other scripture, uh, Acts 13, verse 9 to 11, and also Isaiah 54, verses 11 to 17. I'm just going to read a little bit of it, because that a little bit of it was provided, not the entire thing. Then Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, glared angrily, angrily at the sorcerer and said, You son of the devil, full of every sort of trickery and villainy, enemy of all that is good, will you never end your opposition to the Lord? And now God has laid his hand of punishment on you, and you will be stricken a while with blindness. Instantly a mist and darkness fell upon him. Hmm. Now, this says Paul, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe that was Peter. Anyway, I'm just going to keep going. It was one of the apostles. I'm almost certain that was Peter, not Paul, but no big deal. We are humans. Sometimes we just mix things up. Amen. Okay, so that was the, the prophetic word from March 10th. Now, I'm going to read you the one from the 11th and then a short one from the 15th of March. Amen. All right, the next subheader. The Holy Spirit revealed the Holy Spirit revealed Himself to me during my prayer time on March eleventh, twenty twenty two. I saw myself lying on the beach between the Father and Jesus. Wow. To my amazement, Holy Spirit rested on me. He was enormous and transparent. My whole being was immersed in love. And he spoke a word that was significant to all who love and serve God. Now is the hour for you to get to know me better. I am the delight of Father and Jesus. Nothing makes me happier, happier than to implement all Jesus did on Calvary and to work wonders, ooh, to work wonders through his bride. I'm just thinking of the things God has done today, yesterday, and the day before when we were here and just, oh man, just so, so cool. So cool. <laughs> this, this really speaks to me, Lord. Thank you. The Holy Spirit wants to work wonders through his bride. I love to heal the sick, do miracles for my children, speak to each heart, the wonders and secrets the Father wants them to know. I love to hear my children laugh. The more you know and understand who I am, the more I can use your life to do my wonders through. Ooh, that is strong. See, we always talk about learning the ways of God, not just his acts, but to know his ways like Moses did. Amen. And that's just confirming here. And this is this is me just reading, right? But I've said this before, so we have that confirmation. I'm going to read that again. 
The more you know and understand who I am, the more I can use your life to do my wonders through. This knowledge births great faith, and that is essential for miracles to be worked. See, great faith. This is why I share testimonies. This is why it's essential because it builds your faith up. And even when you see those wonderful signs and wonders clips that I'm going to be sharing with you, and I have two out already, even though it may be happening in the video like to me or upon me or around me or whatnot, it's not only for me. In fact, when I give God the glory, I am equally thrilled that you are partaking of it because you're getting to experience it with me. Amen? Because we are a family and God does not have favorites. So take that and let that increase your faith. Ooh. Yes, I say worked because I am a miracle working God. Fear and unbelief tie my hands. Listen to that. Fear and unbelief tie. You tie God's hands. You, we don't want to tie God's hands, nor do we want him in a box. They tie my hands and limit what I can do for my children. I am looking for those who know, love, and serve me in this hour. So their lively faith will permit me to do wonderful acts on their behalf. All right, so it looks like I have one large paragraph to go. I'm guessing around five minutes. All right, where was I here? This is a short one, so, so this is good stuff. All right, let me uh, wrap this up with you guys. Holy Spirit declared, I will reveal myself to you as you just sit before me and absorb my presence. For because of our faith, he has brought us into this place of highest privilege where we now stand. And we confidently and joyfully look forward to actually becoming all that God has had in mind for us to be. For we know how dearly God loves us, and we feel this warm love everywhere within us because God has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. Now we rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God, all because of what our Lord Jesus Christ has done in dying for our sins, making us friends of God. That's Romans 5, verse 2, verse 5, and verse 11. Since this wonderful encounter with Holy Spirit on March 11th, every time I sit apart with the Lord to pray, I see Holy Spirit overshadowing me. I see Father on my left side, Jesus on my right side, and Holy Spirit completely covering me. Wow, can you all imagine that? <clears throat> I feel His presence in a much stronger way and know with greater faith that He is working within and through me. The glory has increased, healings are more frequent, and prayers are being answered much quicker. I know that he is truly touching people through my hands and speaking to them through my words. Holy Spirit wants to do this for the bride of Christ in this hour, so we can truly be his vessels that he lives through. All right, and here's the very last part, which I mentioned to you is short, and this is from March 15th. And it's the subheader is God is blowing away the smokescreen. On Thursday, March 15th, 2022, the Lord spoke to me again about threat of World War III. The threat of World War III is just a smokescreen the enemy and his cohorts are using to cover up the evil they have done and are currently involved in. It won't work to hide and deceive because by my breath, I will breathe away that smokescreen. This is the hour of the great unveiling, and no smokescreen will stop me from exposing evil. All right, and here's the last short paragraph. The fear that the enemies of truth are generating will backfire on them. Hallelujah. Let's do a prophetic act. Father, let their fears backfire upon them in Jesus' name. Okay, where was I here? Yes, as my children run to us and run from evil and deception, 
fear and justice and exposure will fill their hearts. Sorry, fear of justice and exposure will fill, their, will fill the hearts of the wicked. They tried to use fear to control this world, but instead fear will end up controlling them. Ha! They will reap exactly what they have sown. Ooh, amen. All right, well, I hope you get to watch this video uh, entirely and that it fills you up with more faith and hope. Uh, I appreciate you coming. Uh, I got it. We're going to get ready for bed here because it's, as I said, a long day. We've been up since what time we get up 422 in the morning. And as of right now, it is about 11, 15 p.m. We just got back from the tour bus and whatnot. But anyway, you'll find out all about that um, next week when we get back. Amen. So that is that. God bless you. I hope you like and subscribe. Check out the videos coming up on your screen and I will see you much later. Amen. Can't wait to hear your feedback. God bless you all.